What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Exquisite Gaming. My name is JP, and yes, I know, I have finally done a video on the Clone Wars Adventures emulator. And if you're wondering why I haven't been able to, well I'm very sorry, but it just has not been working on my PC. Um, there was an update prior to this one, which was released in December of last year, 2017. And um, there was just no way I could play it. I, it would uh, download, install, do its update, but unfortunately it just wouldn't work. And the same happened for the update that got released uh, two weeks ago, uh, in March I believe, mid to late March. But that didn't work either. I actually had to go and fix my uh, graphics drive. It was out of date and it just needed a bit of repairs. But we're back, and I'm glad we're back because it's been a while since I've been able to check out the latest updates for CWA emulator, and it's actually quite amazing. Now, some glaring differences I've seen from the, the first few tests on Unity to the ones here is the resolution is a bit smaller. There is a way to tinker with it in the options menu, but it, you can't really change it. It's not exactly 1080p, as you can see, there's black bars at the top and bottom. They're not a problem, that's just something that I noticed when I was playing with the, playing around, messing around with the first test. Uh, there were no black bars here. Maybe this is just something that they've had to done to, I don't know, fix the scaling or something. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, that's just something. As you can see, my character has been customized. You can actually customize your character here. You can make him a trooper, a Jedi, a Sith, whatnot. You can give him a weapon. You can give him a name, a, a guild or a squads, whatever. As you can see, I named mine Akair, which is the name of my original character in Clone Wars Adventures. Um, Knights of the Fallen Empire, I don't know, I just couldn't think of anything. I was like, oh, okay, I like that expansion in Sports Hall. Might as well put it on. And, um, yeah, and I've got this uh, companion following me around, and there are a lot of companions that you can choose from. Unfortunately, the game freezes when I'm recording, when I'm on the companions menu, selecting companions, or basically when I touch any menu and I'm recording with Fraps, it just freezes, and I've had to restart this video a couple times. Um, I will not be showing the customization menu or the mounts menu, because it'll just fuck the video up. <laughs> and I've already restarted this three or four times, so... All, all you need to know is, yes, you can customize. There are a wide variety of weapons, gear, uh, armor, uh, m mounts too. You can actually um, pick up or you can use like speeders to travel. But um, I'm not quite sure how to dismount. Then again, I'm not actually... It's in the menu. It's in one of the tabs in the menu tab. And the moment I do that, it's going to ruin the whole video and I just I don't want to ruin it so I'm not going to touch it for now um, and you can also select companions and I really want to get rid of BBCT8 which kind of looks like the medical droid from Empire Strikes Back but I, I'm just too scared to touch it so I will not um, houses have been added there was already a, a bit of housing I think in one of the earlier updates I know that there are two different emulators there's the semi emulator which was being created by one guy uh, Joshua Panola I believe that's his name. Sorry if I got it wrong. And now there's the Unity Project, which is being worked on by an entire group of people. They have a YouTube channel. I'll leave a link to their YouTube channel in the comments below. If you're wondering if you can only walk, no, you can run. I'm just not pressing the button at the moment, so don't worry. You don't have to watch me walk around all of Coruscant. But um, yeah, you can run. We'll go into every room. We'll see what there is. I've only visited a few. And um, if you have noticed, yes, you can pick up credits. Um, I'm not sure where you can use them. As I stated before, I don't really want to go into the menus. So, we're going to try and stay out of the menus. I'll maybe quickly press it so I can show you guys uh, the maps because there are different planets we can go to, and we will. And there are houses. There's a lot of houses we can go and visit, which are a lot of fun. But um, we'll just explore Coruscant first. So, first off, we have the archives, which is directly in front of us. And um, there's actually some dialogue, which you can you know, speak to NPCs and they say things, which is pretty cool. Bit of a glitch, my arms, oh, for some strange reason, that I have an extra set of floating arms, which is not that big of a deal, but it's just something that I noticed. Okay, so here we have Ayla Secura, and she had something to say. Don't worry, I'll shut up when she talks. Why is Jedi know how important remaining aware of their surroundings is? To keep our skills sharp, we play the Force Perception game. All you have to do is find the differences between two similar pictures before time expires. Remember to use the Force. It will come to your aid when you need it most. 
All right, that was um, that was quite interesting. I'm not quite sure how to play games. Uh, I'm a bit worried about pressing this, but um, yeah, th there are games, but you can't actually play any. Why is Jedi know oh, how Oopsie daisy, but um, yeah. So there are games, but we can't actually play them at the moment. Maybe eventually we'll get an update which you know lets us play the mini games again. But at the moment, it's just purely solo exploration. Maybe when the servers come up, and eventually we'll get to play through them. Uh, Daily Holocron, let's see what the librarian lady from uh, Attack of the Clones has to say. The Holocrons held within this vault hold the wisdom of a thousand generations of Jedi Knights. No Padawans are allowed inside, but a Jedi can enter once each day to study a single Holocron. A Jedi committed to daily study will reap even greater rewards. Okay, thanks for that. Uh, Jocasta... Jocasta Nu. I didn't even know that was a name. I just called her the librarian lady who was... She kind of had a bit of sass to her when Obi-Wan was speaking to her in um, Attack of the Clones. But, uh, yeah, I didn't actually even know she had a name. But, uh, yeah, so that's the archives. Obviously, we can't jump. There's invisible walls, so we can't go into the blue areas where all the books and shit are. But uh, that's all right. Um, there are a shit ton of NPCs. We can speak to a few, but I do not think we can speak to any of the ones here. I kind of want to just get rid of my name tag. It's kind of in the way of everything. It's a bit big, but it's no biggie. All right, we can't speak to them. All good. All right, we're going to go into this room here, which is the workshop. Yes, workshop. I haven't seen this one yet. Or at least not in the new update. Okay. Okay. Eeth Koth. I know this guy. He dies. Just like every other Jedi. But, um, <laughs> let's see what he has to say. I've been informed that young Skywalker's R2 unit is in need of some assistance. There's apparently some sort of trouble, but I haven't been given any details. Can you help R2-D2? I wish I could, but I cannot access the game. <laughs> yeah, so that's the, uh, rocket rescue. I remember playing that back in the good old days. But of course, so these are all the, uh, the, the dialogue to kind of get you into the mini missions. You don't have to, I think you can just play them without talking, but if you want to, I guess, go through the lore and story, this is the way to go. The character kind of looks like Revan, kind of. I don't know, I'm into that whole oldie looking Sith Jedi. We have quite a backlog of droids that need their memory cores unlocked, then wiped. The secrets these droids might hold could be a key to the war effort. If you're a skilled droid programmer, we could use your help. Uh, no problem, Mr. Clone, but I cannot actually access the game. Okay, so this is the workshop. I still have a floating pair of arms, if you haven't noticed. Is there any way to deactivate your weapon? Uh, probably not. Unless you go and just get rid of your weapon, which I won't go up to the menus until maybe later. But first I want to do everything, and then we'll probably try and go into the menus and hopefully not fuck up the entire game. So we got the main hall on the left and right sides, and in the middle is... Lightsaber, I can't read, just give me a sec. Uh, no, that would be a bit closer. Lightsaber construction chamber. I just called it the meditation chamber, because that's what it looks like. Who is this? That is Ki Adi Mundi, the forehead guy, but we cannot speak to him. Clearly no dialogue here. Okay. Knights of the Fallen Empire. Great expansion. A lot of fun. But, uh, so yeah, this... As you can see, is the construction chamber where you construct lightsabers. But I've already got a lightsaber, so I don't really think we need to spend any more time here. Back to the vendor section, and we can enter the main halls. I'm so glad I can make this video. I've really missed doing updates on the Clone Wars Adventures emulators. Ooh, credits that I will at some point be able to use. Also, your progress does save. So, um,. You know, you create a character, and you can actually load back into him. So as you saw, when I started it, there was already a character, and I, already I had already named him. So your progress does save, which is pretty cool. Alright, so this is the main hall. There's water, fountain, and someone that wants to speak. Felusha Recruiter. Ooh. Well, fighting has intensified across the planet. We should move out immediately. And not a problem, but I... D uh, um, there's no spaceships. <laughs> Actually, there is, but I don't know. Can you actually... I wonder if you can use the transport to...
go to other planets, or do you have to actually use the menu and map? Hopefully not, because the menu is kind of fucked when recording. Mission on Iceberg 3, okay. Sir, Jedi Master Plo Koon has a dangerous mission he needs your help with. Are you ready to begin? Uh, not really. I'm not sure we can visit Iceberg 3 yet to do missions. I know there's a house on Iceberg 3 that I have actually visited and looked really damn cool. But, um, yeah, at the moment, I don't think it's like a planet that you can visit. And the frame rate just dropped for a sec. Okay, cool. We're back. Alright. So we'll go to the training room first, see what's, see what's been offered in here. Bit of a frame rate peak, but it's okay. Oh shit. Ooh, Captain Rex. Let's speak to the man. Being an accurate shot with a blaster is gonna get you through more tough scrapes than you can imagine out there on the front lines. And keep your marksmanship skills sharp here at the blaster training range. If you're interested, I'll fire up the program for you. Um I mean I I'm certainly not interested. I'm just Access it. I do believe in one of the previous older semi emulators there was a way to access a few mini games. You could do a version of the Starfighter. Of course, it wasn't, you know, the typical Star Fox style, you know, like the original uh, emula uh, Clone Wars Adventures had, but it was kind of similar to it. It was just a replacement for it. And there was also that shooting range one. But, um, it's not there at the moment, we're just gonna have to wait until a later update comes along. And that's where we come to do the lightsaber duel, but, you know, hear what everyone has to say. A Jedi skill with their lightsaber can see them through many difficult challenges, but that skill only comes through diligent study and training. We will often set up friendly duels between Jedi to learn from their technique, and to keep our own skills sharp. Would you like to sign up for a duel? Uh, sure, why not? Sounds like fun. I finished all the jewels. They were a lot of fun. And someone's down there. But I do not think they have dialogue. I'm just curious to see who it is. Saber Strike. Oh, yes, that's the mini game where you have to throw your lightsaber and have it ricochet off like walls and try and take down as much enemies as possible. Ah, she does have something to say. Let's see what that is. If you're interested in honing your lightsaber throwing skills, Saber Strike is the perfect place to focus your energy. Do you think you possess the physical technique and a strong enough understanding of the Force to begin? I think I do. I just, uh, I'm a bit worried about the frame rate at the moment. <laughs> it's kind of funny when the frame rate's fucked. Characters just look so retarded. Question. I find your lack of faith disturbing. Yes, I do. Um, yeah, so this, this stuff's still yet to be added. Which is fine. The emulator takes time, we don't want to rush it. More credits! Alright, um... I want to really just get back to the main lobby because this place is lagging like crazy. A fair warning, when we do get to Umbara, that place has a fr bit of a frame rate drop as well, so just, you know... Don't be alarmed. Normally I like to do these without knowing anything, like just the very first time I'm trying it. We'll go to the hangar at the end, because that actually does have... I think spaceships where you can travel to and from places, but uh, that's for later. Um, what was I saying? I don't know. <laughs> oh well, we'll go into the war room next and then we'll jump into the lounge. Also known as a canteen. Alright, war room, where the very first introduction plays. I wonder if you can see that cutscene. Like the original one that where you start off with, but um. We'll see what happens. The Grand Army of the Republic needs heroes like you to lead the defense against the Separatists. Are you ready to hold the line against Count Dooku's most dangerous generals, Android Armies? Um, this one's actually for Republic Defender, the um, kind of like a, a tower defense style game, which is quite fun. Now, what do we have here? Why was Yoda a good gardener? Because he has a green thumb. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that, was, that was cute. That was cute. Alright. We got... Galactic Forces? I don't know what this one is. I don't think I played this one. The Republic is locked in battle with the Separatists across the galaxy. 
If half of what I hear about you is true, you could be just the thing we need to turn the tide. Interested in a little time on the front? Uh, wasn't Captain Rex just in another one of the rooms? <laughs> it's kind of like the uh, Swartor effect where two NPCs can be in the same place at once, offering the exact same mission. War rages across the galaxy, and the Republic Navy is spread thin. We need you to take command of a Venator attack cruiser and throw back the Separatist forces that threaten the innocent people of the Republic. Are you willing to take command? Anything for you, Mr. Plo Koon. Absolutely anything for you. Alright. Ooh, what have we here? Hello there. Wait, wait, come back. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know who that is, but uh... Hey, she's cute, and we can't talk to her. Anyway, she wouldn't want to talk to a guy like me, dressed as if he just came out of a war with Darth Malak. <laughs> Alright. Um, last time... On a previous update, the lounge was uh, had a bit of a frame rate drop, so let's just prepare ourselves. <laughs> okay, it's not too bad. And the music, which it normally plays in the lounge, is playing once again. It's it's kind of a blend of Indian and um, like cantina music. It's kind of cool. It's unique. Card commander. I mean, if you ever wanted to play a card game in the Star Wars universe, I, I normally just rely on Bazaar, but you know. You know, a lot of clones have taken up playing the trading card game Card Commander. If you'd like to give it a shot, I'm sure we'll be able to find you a match. But what do you say, boss? Okay. But um, yeah, maybe another time. Ooh, daily spin. Hard to forget about daily spin. I literally sometimes just logged on to spin the wheel because it was free. Fleet Commander, Force Connection, Aquatic Assault, that's fun. You play as um the Aquatic Jedi, the, the one that swims with the green lightsaber. I've completely forgotten his name. Kit Fisto, that guy. That was fun. Uh, Crisis Zero, I mean, I'm assuming that's Zero the Hut. Stunt Gungan, let's just move away. <laughs> and this is the second part of the lounge. Cool. Uh, frame rate has dropped again, but you know, we can live with that. I feel like if I had found a way to get rid of my companion, this wouldn't be such a big of a problem, but um, I'm not going to risk opening the menus until we've seen everything, and then, you know, I can risk ending a video and restarting. Alright, we're not going to spend too much time here, there is some credits towards the right that I will go and grab, but um, yeah, I don't really want to play. Oh my god. Jar Jar Binks. Gungan style. <laughs> that was... That was cool. <laughs> A lot of neat little easter eggs you'll find around here. I kind of like that. It's quite fun. And this is um the blue elephant. Elephant guy. Um, he has a name. I, I forgot. He's the musician guy from Return of the Jedi. There are just too many NPCs here, let's move back. Wait, oh, there's more. I'm sorry, I can't say no to credits. You're just gonna have to deal with this insufferable frame rate drop. Let it bother you guys, let it bother you. <laughs> I can't even press it. Oh, come on. Yes, alright. We're free to leave. Great work, shout out, big shout out to the developers by the way, this is, the, uh, like I'm, you know, making fun of the frame rate drops, this is not your fault, my computers, my laptop's a piece of shit, so, <laughs> big shout out to you guys, you guys have done a tremendous job, you guys are doing this for free, and you're doing a great job at it, you're doing this for the fans, we know you're fans, and we love you for it, great work guys, keep up the great work, and um, thanks, because I never actually thought I'd live to play through uh, Clone Wars Adventures again. It just felt like a distant memory that I'd never get to experience again. But here I am, in Coruscant, looking out the window at um, the rest of Coruscant. So, this is great. <laughs> Alright, let's go into the hangar. See what we can do. There's a cut. There's a three buttons here towards the right middle of the screen. Hey. They do not do anything, so... What? 
we're not going to spend too much time with them. Don't, you know, think that I've missed them. They just don't do anything at the moment. There are a lot of buttons and, like, little things you can click that just don't do anything right now. Eventually, I'm sure they will, but they're just there for aesthetic purposes, to bring back what the game initially looked like. Ah, and it can start with that. Just a sec, let me pick up this little hint thing here. It's a trap! Huh. God, I hate what they did to Admiral Akbar in The Last Jedi. It's just... It's, it's so sad. The Republic can always use another great starfighter pilot out on the front lines. Are you ready to jump behind the controls of a Jedi starfighter and take the fight to the Separatists? I sure am, Mr. Skywalker. But, uh... Until the mode comes back, not much I can do. Chowder. <laughs> Logo winner. Nice work, bro. I, um... I was about to try and make a logo, but then I was just like, Ugh. Am I really bothered? I'm really lazy. If so you need a break from the fighting, you should try racing speeder bikes. Cutting loose on a swoop bike is a great way to clear your head while keeping your reflexes sharp. Racing lets you have some competitive fun while you are away from the front lines. Give it a try. Uh, I don't know about that. We had swoop racing on Malastir. Very fast, very dangerous. Yeah, let it bother you. <laughs> so we are ready for launch. Just select your destination and we'll get underway yeah, this immediately. Is an old NPC. We've had him for a while. Um, these are the planets. So, oh, so we can go to Iceberg 3. Nice. We're on Coruscant. First and foremost, we'll go to Iceberg 3 because I haven't seen that one yet. One of the um, older versions of the emulator had Camino, but I don't think they've brought it back in this one. Maybe they will, maybe they won't, I'm not sure. It was just a fun little area to kick back, it wasn't... Because the community wasn't in the original game. My so. goodness! Yeah. Alright. So this is Iceberg 3. I'm not sure what this place was with the original game. Maybe it was just like a... A PvE area or a PvP. I'm not too sure. Maybe there were missions here. I don't know, so... It is pretty cool though. It looks... Pretty expansive. Uh, is there a way to open the map? No, there isn't. Like map of the area, not just the galaxy map. And the gold means more credits. I am credits. Over 6 oh, is that credits? Or is it not? Ah, uh, they're not credits. Nope. Okay. I just realised that I have been spending most of my time here not sprinting. Sorry if that's bothering you. I'll I'll, I'll continue to sprint. No need to walk through the entire map. Alright, there's nothing here, so we'll go way back. Don't blame me. I'm just the interpreter. Let's have a look at the skybox. Uh, pretty good. Looking pretty great. Okay, so there's not many NPCs here, so this is clearly one of the newly developed areas. You'll notice that areas that have been, you know, in development for a while have a lot more NPCs, because they have been working on it for oh like dear. a year or so, My maybe even goodness. more. Um, yeah, but these areas are relatively new. I think they only got released either in this update or the one before it that I didn't get a chance to look at. I, um, I played it for a few minutes and then I just jumped into this one because I thought, why not? I'm not going to be making a video on the last update. I don't really see a reason to. I have done pretty much every update since the semi-emulator by Joshua Panola, but um, I, and I did miss two, this is the second one that I missed. I'm not going to go back to the first one because there's really no I point, it's essentially the same thing with less caution, so I'm just going to stick to this one, I think it's just a smarter decision to do, you know. It's got everything the other one has and more, so there's that. I'm um, not too sure how to get back. I think I do need to open the galaxy map, which could break the game. If I do, I'll just start another video. It's no biggie. But, um, yeah, so this is Iceberg 3. Relatively small area. Not much to do, but that's to be expected. I'm sure that once the game finishes and becomes what it Don't blame needs me. to be, I'm just the interpreter. there'll be a lot more to do in this area. But you know, there's not many NPCs, just kind of characters standing around, which is fine. Alright, so, wish me luck. 
uh, map. And it's frozen. Okay, I'm gonna end this video, start it again, and we'll go to the next planet. What's up guys, we got back, we're at the hangar, I didn't go to Fluja. There's actually one NPC we haven't spoken to, so we're gonna try speaking to him. I actually recorded this before, and it crashed again. So, hopefully this works. We're fighting is intensified across the planet. We should move out immediately. I just want to, you know, get to every NPC. It's kind of an OCD thing I have. So we are ready for launch. And we'll be ready to launch. Okay, so we've, got, we, we've seen Coruscant, we've seen Iceberg 3. We're going to go to Ryloth, and then Geonosis, and then finally Mbara. And I love the way they brought back the old um, title screens, the, um, the main menu, the loading screens. Uh, I actually have all these on my computer, like as wallpapers every now and then. It's just, it's been a while, you know, I remember seeing these as a kid and I really, really thought they were awesome. And the music is great. So here we are, Ron Ryloth, my Revan looking Jedi Sith thing is here. Miss Windu is here, but he does not say anything. Um, and this is Ryloth. Uh, Ryloth has been here for a while, so it is, you know, much better than some of the other planets, some of the newer ones. I haven't seen Geonosis yet, but I do plan on it. Obi-Wan doesn't say anything. Uh, Obi-Wan and Mace Windu would say the same things they said earlier. So Obi-Wan would invite you to Lightsaber Jewels and Mace Windu to Republic Defender. But, uh, so yeah, this is actually where the Republic Defender thing takes place. Uh, Anakin Skywalker would tell you about the Starfire mode. Because he's an excellent Starfire. Um, yeah, this is actually where the uh, where you build the towers to defend the area, if you haven't recognized it. But, um, and it's also the starting area, where um where you first start the game. You spawn right, I believe, down there, and then you make your way up, killing droids, and then you eventually get to, um, you get to Coruscant, and then you can just do whatever you like. It's a very social game, and I really did enjoy it its time. It wasn't, you know, story-centered or gameplay-centered. It was just fun to stand around, chat with friends. Sorry about that. And, um, I think that's what really appealed to me about this game. It was really chill. There was nothing really to it. Nothing stressful about it. Nothing really to do. Just have some fun in the Star Wars universe. A lot of people will say Galaxies did that, but Galaxies is really hard to get into if you, um, yeah, it doesn't really give you like a bit of a, much of a tutorial to teach you how to play. Um, this one, you don't really need a tutorial. You can just jump into it and have some fun with friends. Galaxy is really hard to get into. You know? Yeah. But Galaxies was great for its time. If it had come out a bit later, and I was a bit older, then I probably would say it's like the greatest Star Wars game of all time. Unfortunately, I didn't really play it as a kid. And I have tried the emulator, and it's just too hard to get into. I often find myself walking around this giant sandbox not knowing what to do. And yes, I have tried to see, you know, tutorials to teach me how to play, but, um, I don't know, like, I feel like if you have to see a tutorial to teach you how to play a game, maybe the game hasn't done so well to teach you how to play in the first place. I mean, the game should teach you how to play. It shouldn't, I'm not saying it should hold your hand, but you shouldn't be completely and utterly lost. Um, maybe it's just because Galaxies is an emulator and not an actual, you know, game as it was when it first began. But, I don't know. That's just me talking shit out of my ass. So, um, if you like Galaxies, then by all means, play it and enjoy it. I'm glad you like it. I wish I could play it and enjoy it so I can do like awesome videos on it. But, I can't. Maybe one day. In the far future. But, um, at the moment, I'll stick to these emulators and my Old Republic videos. Because I love me some Old Republic. Alright, so that is um, Ryloth, not too big. The planets are quite small. I think Mbara might be the biggest sandbox in the game. And we'll go to that in the end. But, uh, oh boy. And it's frozen again. It's okay, we're going to go to uh, Geonosis anyway. So I'm going to end the video, start again. So we are back at the hangar. And we've seen Coruscant, we've seen Iceberg 3, we've seen Ryloth. We're going to see Geonosis, which I haven't actually seen yet. Because I'm... Um, I, I think this came out in the last update before this one, and I never used that one, or well, tried it, so... Let's see, Geonosis, you know, pretty awesome place, awesome battle scene in um, Attack of the Clones, but I've never actually seen it in a video game, or at least not, you know, in any MMOs. It's not in the Old Republic, 
I didn't know it was in um this, but uh yeah. Oh, it's the command ship. It's the flagship. I have actually been on the flagship before. Um I remember coming here, but I don't actually I remember there was um one of the admirals, the one that eventually goes Imperial. Um and Obi Wan. And this is above uh Geonosis. So there's no actual um planet or maybe there is, I'm not too sure. But um if you know, let me know in the comments. I'd kinda like to know. But I do recall coming to this flagship and picking up missions which sent me to Iceberg three. But to actually travel to Geonosis I never did in the game and I don't know if you can here. But it does seem like it's basically just the flagship. I I mean I don't see any doors anywhere, so which is cool. It's a. I actually really like this flagship. I like having ships, like flagships or spaceports in games. I don't know why. I just find it soothing. I love the Imperial and Republic fleets in um in Star Wars: The Old Republic, and I really, really liked this little area. It's quite simple. It's quite basic. It's just a ship in space above Geonosis, but there was something about it that I really, really liked can't explain to you what it was but um yeah all right so we're not going to spend too much time here because it's quite small and there's not much to do so we're going to try and um open the menu see if we can get to uh, umbara which frame rate isn't great but you know frozen again okay we're exiting gonna do it again all right back to the hangar We've seen these four locations. Junosis wasn't a planet, but you know, close enough. We're gonna go to Umbara now, which is the PvP, PvE, not too sure, open area in the Old Republic. It's huge. There was a giant story arc that happened in the TV show in Umbara, which was really good by the way, with the clones and a Jedi Master. Um, a lot of fun, great episodes, and Umbara itself is an awesome looking area. It actually returned in um the Old Republic, for those of you who didn't know, in a flashpoint, but um yeah that was pretty cool too. Alright, so yeah. Can we speak to Captain Rex? No we cannot. Right, we're gonna go around and explore Umbara for a bit with this bad shitty ass FPS. But, uh, oh, it picks up, it gets a bit better, S slightly, it's like 15 frames per second, but, um, I mean, it's better than the lounge. Uh, once again, I must reiterate, not the emulator's fault, I have a shitty computer. I, it's a shitty-ass laptop that I use for study, and I need to get a new one. But, um, yeah. I would like to take this time to congratulate the developers, because this is a feat that is not easy, you know? Like, Clone Wars Adventures wasn't an, an, a huge Star Wars game. But it was quite small, and for them to be able to pick it up from where it was, and just make it into this... Pretty good. Pretty damn good. Because the game was dead for like, five years. I think it uh, got shut down 24... Oh, maybe not five years, like three years. It got shut down in 2014, and um, we're in 2018 now, so... And development began around 2016, so... Yeah. Still a lot of great work. Um, so this is Umbara, there aren't any NPCs, ooh, okay, um, what the fuck, please don't kill me, alright, let's just dance, see what happens, okay, so we can't kill you, can I kill him, uh, I, I don't think there's any way to interact with, um, with enemy AIs in this, or enemy NPCs, but um, I'm just gonna run from Carl the Rancor, because he does look pretty fucking intimidating, and I don't, he can't kill me, but you know, it's fucking Rancor, maybe I shouldn't just stand in his, what was that? Shit, I thought I saw something. Alright, I don't even know where we are, we're somewhere in Umbara, like I said, this is the big open sandbox area in um, Clone Wars Adventures. Whoa, okay. So yeah, as I was saying, I was gonna say there aren't, doesn't seem to be any MP enemy NPCs. There was an NPC there, but I don't, it's, it was attacking me, but it can't really do anything to me. And looks like we found some droids, but I don't know how we're gonna fight them. I don't think they can even shoot us, so. 
no, they can't do anything to us, so we're just gonna just stroll past them. Just explore. Seems to be an electrical field coming from there. Might as well check it out. I do want to show all the houses because there are a few of them. It's gonna be a bit of a hassle because the game kind of freezes every time I'm every time I open the menu for some strange reason. Uh, once again, I blame my computer, not the game. But um, I will endeavor to do my best to show all the houses. Some of them are pretty cool. They're quite. They're not too big, but they're fun to look at. They're interesting. I think. Once this, once there are servers, online servers for this, it'll be pretty cool. Yeah. Because, um, like I said earlier, this game isn't really about the gameplay or the story. It's more about just socializing, kicking back with people. And that's all this game really needs to achieve. It's it's a community. And it already has one. It's, it's got a pretty big following. A lot of people really want this game to return. So... Building the community won't be the hard part, I think. That's that's already been done. You've got a lot of people who really like the prequels, and they really like the Clone Wars universe, and the universe that got spawned by the prequels, as do I. And, um, yeah. Now, this place is great. It's really been, uh, like, added... They've added a lot of stuff to it, because previously, there was some things to do on Umbara, but it was just an empty area. You know, a purple empty area with the occasional NPCs you'd run into and you could kill, but that was with the early uh, semi-emulator. This is um, the proper emulator. Frame rate's not too bad, but um, I think once again, once it's finished, you'll have NPCs all over the area that you can fight. Um, but at the moment, not much. It's just empty area. You don't even have life or health. You can just walk into uh, the electrical field and I don't think anything would happen. I don't even know if you can though, but we'll give it a try. No, it just doesn't let you through. Okay. Fair enough. So when we're done here, I'm not going to go back to the area where we spawned from, because I don't even know where that is. I've kind of just been running straight, so... I'd like to show everything here, but I don't think I can. It's just too damn big. I did with the previous ones, because it was just, you know, a sandbox. It's just repeating itself, but this is actually a genuine place where things have been added in it and it's pretty damn big so <sighs> alright okay use those leg oh we're back to where we started okay cool so I think that's all I'm going to show for Umbara at the moment because most of it is just area um, I'm going to go back in that's where Captain Rex was yes it would be cool if they could add a separatist faction. It would be quite hard. I don't think um, they'd be able to, but because um, it wasn't in the original game. But if they could add like like a, a haven or a social area for separatist characters, if you could make a separatist character similar to the old Republic, Sith Republic, most of it here is just Republic because you're all on Coruscant. But if they could add an Imperial version where everyone is just kind of on like a separatist planet, what is a separatist planet though? I I don't know. I mean, the Empire in the Old Republic has drone cast, but what would be the capital of the Separatists? That's a tough question there. Huh. I think it was um, shown in one of the um, Clone Wars episodes, but um, I'm going to have to research that one. Okay. So we're going to go and we're going to try and get into the houses. I'm actually going to turn off... Here's the plan. I'm going to stop recording when, and then go to the house and then start recording at the house. And I'll tell you which house it is. Cool? Alright, this, this should work. Or something similar to that. Alright, there is a map here. And nothing bad has happened. So first and foremost, let's go to Coruscant. We've got three different rooms. Padawan Dorm. We'll see the Padawan Dorm first. So all, all we really need to do is just turn off the um the recording and then just select housing and then we can pick i think that's all we really need to do now, this is the padawan dorm the first coruscant house that we can have i don't think there's a way to edit the houses yet and like add decorations or anything like that but i think this is just a starting point eventually of course we can but um I still kind of like strongholds a bit more than the houses. The strongholds feel more expansive, I guess. 
But anyways, this is the Padawan Dawn. I'm not going to spend too much time here. I do not trust my computer. <laughs> we'll exit. Uh, apparently we can't exit. Alright, turn up recording. Next room. Alright, so next up is the Jedi Apartment. On Coruscant. So this is the Jedi apartment. This is pretty cool. You know, the Padawan dorm is quite small and doesn't really give you a lot of space to do anything. But, oh wow. Oh, this is cool. This is really sweet. Damn, what Jedi owns this? Who has like 15 starships? That's the coolest thing ever. <sighs> Man, I would love to live here. <clears throat> Alright, we'll go back keep having a look around the um, apartment, I'll go left, check out what's in here, okay, whoa, this is pretty cool, this is like a meditation chamber, but it's all red, so it's like a dark side of meditation chamber, this is pretty cool, you know, you can sit, you just like meditate here, siphon all your dark energy, have Sith holocron surrounding you, oh, I'm sorry, I play too much. It's Knights of the Old Republic. I'm really into that dark shit. Let's get out of here. <laughs> that's really cool though. That's a really that's a really neat room. Um, I don't know what's behind me here. Ah, uh, no, this is you can't go through here. Okay, sweet. This one I think was the um, starships, or maybe it was this one. We'll check. No, this is the balcony. Whoa, sweet! There's a balcony. This is awesome. I remember uh, with the first few updates, I'd like throw myself out and try and travel the depths of Coruscant, but I think they've managed to put invisible walls everywhere to kind of stop me from <laughs> jumping out into the open city, which is fine. I don't really want to, but um, that'd be pretty cool. Open city Coruscant, like not in the way that <coughs> uh, the Old Republic did it. That was kind of irritating. There's lots of different levels, but if it was just open, that'd be pretty cool. Okay, so that was um, Coruscant, the Jedi Apartments. Next up, I think, is the Battle Cruiser. We'll get to that next. Alright. Alright, let's go to the Attack Cruiser. <coughs> Damn, I love Aura Sing so much. <laughs> Don't ask why I just do that. Okay. So this is the Attack Cruiser. Very similar in design to the Geonosis location, but um, yeah, just just looks a bit different. The space outside, there's not as much rocks as there are on Coruscant, obviously. I don't know if you can pilot the ship like you can with um, guild ships in the Old Republic, but uh, yeah, this is really cool. This is neat. Owning your own attack cruiser, that's that's pretty cool. Having parties on an attack ship. There's not much to do here. There's not much to see. I, th I believe it's just one room, but um, the the bridge basically. But that's good enough for me. <laughs> I'm good with that. All right. I think next up is a different planet. We'll go back to houses and leave this place. All right. Let's go to Dathomir, which is um the the witches, uh, Asajj Ventress's home planet. Mother Talzin and all those weird witch ladies. Also, um, Darth Maul and his brother Savage's home planet, which is quite strange. Everyone assumed he'd be a Zabrak, but apparently not. His home planet is. Uh, he is a Zabrak, but his home planet isn't. Uh, where are they normally from? Ithador? I don't know. But, um, no, he's from Dathomir, which is interesting. Wow, this is huge. <laughs> so, this is the house on Dathomir. There's no more multiple houses, I think the rest of the planets is just one house. But, um, yeah, these houses are almost as big as the planets themselves, this is huge. <laughs> Alright, this is massive, damn. A lot of work went into these houses, and this is lava. But, um, I'm fucking awesome, so I don't die. And this is the other entrance towards the right. <sighs> okay. 
Damn, this is a big ass area. This gives that attack cruiser a run for its money. I believe this is where Darth Maul was like resurrected. Like where he was properly brought back and not fucking insane. This is really cool. <clears throat> There are some people who actually are against the whole Darth Maul being brought back, which I think is quite strange because he's Darth Maul and he got one of the most uneventful deaths ever. He should have been made the villain of the prequels, but um, he died in the first film, so I think bringing him back in Clone Wars was the right call. And then eventually, his, the conclusion of his arc in Rebels was actually brilliant. Possibly my favourite part of Rebels because a lot of Rebels is just irritating. But um, yeah. Maul's return was the best part of Clone Wars and Rebels. I probably would have hated both of them if it weren't for Maul, so there's that. I believe this is it. This is the entire map of Dathomir, or the house, sorry. And it's pretty big. One could actually call this the, the planet itself. You can't go into the outer areas, but then again, you can't go into the outer areas of Coruscant either, so yeah. You can't go onto Geonosis, but it still counts as the planet location, so once again. Yeah, I'm just going to pretend these are planets, because these are huge. These, these aren't just little areas. These are fucking massive. So that's Dathomir. And um, I think it's time we ended this video and went to the next planet. And next up is Felucia. I do believe we've seen Felucia before in previous updates, but let's see it again. Ooh, Kamina. And there are, okay, there are two. We'll start with Felucia Starter. I wish Aura Singh was real. She's just, she oozes badassness. And Cad Bane, of course. But I don't know, something about Aura Singh. It's just, it's badass. Alright, Felucia Starter, I do believe I've seen this before. Not too big. It's quite small, actually. Can we not go there? Okay, I can't. I just fix my guy. Sorry, I'm so used to Old Republic controls that I almost forget how to control characters. Okay, so there's an invisible, or well, not really invisible, but you can't go over that barrier. There's the ship. But I do wish we could go over here. There's like stairs there, so you might as well just let us through. But, um... Nope, apparently not. Can we go through these little gaps here? No, we cannot. Okay, that's Felucia Starter. Off to Felucia itself. This is strange, it's not letting me go to Felucia. I may have to end up splitting this video into two parts because there's a lot of shit. I don't know if this will upload in one video without destroying my, my household's Wi-Fi. <laughs> uh, this is the exact same place. This is strange. Okay, it appears we've already seen both. I don't think we can, because we're on Felucia Starter, but we can't go to Felucia, so... I think we're just going to move on to Iceberg 3, which I have seen is really awesome. Okay. This is Iceberg 3. It shares some similarity to... And it's frozen. Okay. Okay, fine. We'll just... Alright, so we've reached Iceberg 3, the house on Iceberg 3, and it does share a lot of similarities with Ilum. Because Ilum is, well, in Old Republic, is essentially Hoth at night, and smaller, thank goodness. And yeah, this does look a lot like Ilum. I don't think there's a lot to see here, because most of it is pretty much barricaded by invisible walls and rocks, so there's that. I wish they'd use the rocks as the barriers and not invisible walls. I mean, if you've got a rock there, then clearly we can't get past. You might as well just use the rock as the invisible barrier and not actually add an invisible barrier. Just, you know, just a thought I had. I think that's how it was with the original game as well, which was quite strange, you know. Like, why is there invisible barriers here if there's rocks over there that I probably won't be able to pass anyway? Do you feel what I mean? It's just, you know, that level of immersion that... 
that um, Sony could have went for, but I guess that's some of the reasons why a lot of people just really hated this game. I didn't, because I was a kid and I never really noticed these problems. I just kind of hit people with my lightsaber, so. So yep, that's Iceberg 3. I know I'm kind of speeding through these, but the this video is already very long, and I do have to end it and start it again every time we visit another planet, so. I'm just going to end this, and then we're going to go to the next planet. Alright, Iceberg 3, next up is Kamino. Gotta love me some Kamino. Okay. Sweet. Alright. There are mounts in this game, like speeders that you can use, but I've, like I said, I'm not going to show them because I'd have to end the video and start again. I could, like, put one on and just use that, but um, they don't really do much, you know, besides help you get around the area quicker. And I kind of like seeing my character run around with a lightsaber, so there's that. And I don't think we can jump into the water. No, invisible walls. So, um, yeah, this is just a little platform on Camino where you can make your home. And of course, you can see Camino in the distance. The water seems a bit pixelated, but it's not that big of a deal. Camino itself looks pretty good. And the frame rate drops when you look up at the storm in the sky, so. And look at that! The game's frozen, so. I'm gonna end the video. So here we are back at Coruscant, and the next house we will visit is on Christophsis. And once again, like I said earlier, the um, link to download this emulator will be in the description. So if you want to try it for yourself, Feel free to do so. Um, you most certainly can. It's free to download. It's it's all free. It's always going to be free. Um, yeah, it, this is still a, kind of a test, and you can try it out for yourself for free. So be sure to check that out if you want to. And um, if you, if any of you guys play the Old Public, a uh, fun little interesting fact: a new expansion is set to come out this year. We don't know much about it. But obviously, it will be centered around Theron if you guys are keeping up with the story. I won't, you know, talk about what it is. But um, yeah, obviously, it will be centered around the character Theron, Theron um, Shan, and a new stronghold is coming to Rishi pretty soon. I'm not too sure when. I just know that it is. Oh, cool! We can run in the water. Water looks great. What the hell? The water looks really fucking good. Um, and we've got an invisible wall here, so we can't go to that other building. Just jump back onto this platform. Okay. So this is Christophsis. It doesn't actually look like Christophsis. I mean, in the in Clone Wars, the film, Christophsis looked pretty different. This is really cool because there's like a platform under the water, and then you like go into the water. That's pretty cool. I'll try again to go to that you know, separatist. No, we can't. The invisible walls are already pushing me to the left when I'm trying to go straight, so we're not going to make it, and no, wait, it's pushing us to the side, we're not going to be able to make it, so, so this is Christophsis, so this is actually like one of my favourite uh, houses, or like one of the strongholds, I don't know, I just, I really like this one, it's, I like the look of the water, it looks pretty damn cool, so we're going to end this and go to the next house. Next up, we've got Geonosis. We'll work our way down and then back up. So we're basically going clockwise. Kind of. Right, so this is Geonosis. If you were cut at the fact that we couldn't actually visit the planet in the game and we only had to kick back on the cruiser, or the attack, whatever, the battleship, or goods, because you can come down here in your house. You can't go past this barrier, but at least your feet will be on Geonosis, which is good enough. And in the actual game, when it's, you know, finally released, we should be able to, you know, customize our strongholds and stuff like that, so. 
Um, you can't jump out of this area, which kind of sucks. I mean, it would be pretty cool if they let us just go out. I mean, it wouldn't really... They wouldn't have to add anything. We'd just be... We'd have the ability to cross these barriers and just explore. And I think it would make this game more of a sandbox-ish game if a lot of the invisible barriers were just gone. But then again, an open sandbox with nothing in it would be pretty strange, so... I think just for people who want to explore, if some of these barriers in the houses were lifted, then I think it would be pretty cool. But we can only customize our house in this area, the buried area. And the rest is just, you know, there for your exploration purposes and shit. Alright, so this is Geonosis, off to the next house. Alright, next up we got Tatooine, this should be interesting. This is Tatooine, as you can obviously tell from its, you know, sand and fucking sand, so. This one looks pretty damn huge. <laughs> this is not as small as Geonosis or some of the other ones. There are definitely still barriers that you can see, but it's much bigger in scale and size than the other ones. Yeah, this is huge. The good thing about this is, even if, like, you don't get to travel to the planets, like, they're not actually locations that you can travel to, the houses themselves are pretty huge. What the hell? This is a tiny house. <laughs> People live in here, and I'm standing on their house. Okay. The houses themselves, a lot of them are huge, like, with so much to explore. That it's, I'm fine with there not being a Tatooine planet or anything to do on Tatooine, because the houses themselves are massive. Well, some of them are, not all of them. Geonosis, you know, is a bit of an exception. And some of the other ones are too. Alright, so we can't go to this. <laughs> I love the way he jumps down. Jedi's are so freaking cool. I think we've seen all of Tatooine. I know, it's pretty small, but, you know. Like I said, still in development. Alright, we're going to shut off this video. Go to the next planet. Alright. Next up we have Ryloth, which shouldn't be too different to the planet itself. See, we've got three different versions of Ryloth. Ryloth, Ryloth Deluxe, and Ryloth Canyon. We've got a Ryloth first. As much as I love Clone Wars Adventures, I don't think anything beats uh, The Old Republic, which for me is probably one of my favorite MMOs in existence. Damn, Ryloth is pretty big. <laughs> Unless, the yeah, these are all invisible walls. Never mind. Not as big as we thought it was. I think if these invisible walls were to be lifted, this would be much better, because like, what would be the big deal with just running down and exploring some of the extra open areas like it, it wouldn't be that big of a deal would it i mean there doesn't have to be anything there like i said before but the ability to be able to explore like in the first halo game for example combat evolved that's what people want you know that's what people love i mean there's not much to do in combat evolved when you you know run around in the open areas you still have to do your mission but it's the ability to feel like an open-ended area that people strive for and look for. So, first Ryloth area has already frozen, so I'm going to exit the game, go to the next part. Right. We are back. Ryloth. Ryloth Deluxe. And if you, like me, also when you first got this game and it, it didn't work for you, be sure to check your driver, make sure it's updated. It's a really simple fix, it's not like you have to go buy a new driver or anything like that. Just check if it's up to date, go to your driver software, make sure you have a driver software installed. Um, and yeah, that's all you really need to do, just, I can't believe I neglected it for that long. Like, all my games were freezing up and I didn't even bother to check to make sure that um, my driver software was update, updated, so there's that. 
So this is Ryloth Deluxe, which is a much, much bigger version of the first Ryloth area. Once you visit this place, you're kind of fine with the other ones having invisible walls, because this is very open-ended. This, this is like, okay, here is a, a an, an area you own. Do what you want with it. You know, you can dance, you can invite your friends, build things. Of course, you can't build things now, but eventually, I'm sure, we'll be able to add decorations and all that fun stuff. I think housing in an MMO is a must, regardless of what, you know, genre it is. Housing, you know, decorations, and that whole sense of community it, it's just a must regardless of what mmo it is and i think cwa got that right so and that's all you really need to get right of course some people will say oh what about the combat and the story and all that that stuff all comes later if there's no community then it's just not fun fortunately clone Wars adventures does have a community and i'm sure that when the servers come online and you know are created that that community will continue to grow you know, it's already got a large following. It'll get even larger in time. Alright, so this is Ryloth Deluxe. We're going to end this video and go to the final area in Ryloth, final house, which is, uh, I believe it's called Canyon. Okay, Ryloth, Ryloth Canyon. I'll also try and go to the other... Um, there was another one that we couldn't access, I think it was um, Felucia, but we'll give it a try and see what happens. For some reason it wasn't, the starter was opening, but the second one wasn't. Alright, so this is the canyon, and yes, this is the one with the walls everywhere, so... This is definitely um, not very open-ended, not very open, you can't, I'm sure you can't jump over these, nope. It's okay, we have the deluxe one to go around and look around and explore, so... And we've already got Ryloth as a planet, so that's fine. So this is Ryloth Canyon. I'm not going to press right and look up because for some strange reason, every time I use the mouse button, it just freezes up. So I'm going to end this video and move on to the next house. Okay, we're going to move this way up to Ryloth. We have Karlak, which I've never even heard of. So let's see what we got. Okay, so this is Karlak. It's a snowy area. These trees look like they're made of crystals. Interesting. Interesting design. And I don't think we can cross this because... Or maybe we can. Yes, we can. Sweet. Okay, so this is um, a bit larger than some of the other houses. I think this is probably one of the ones that was released later. So yeah, this is Karlak, and I think we've seen everything we need to. And we can move on to the next house. Okay. Umbara is next. We've got two. We've got the Sith Academy and Umbara itself. We'll go to Umbara first and then we'll see the Sith Academy. I think my favorite is still on Death to Me. That one was pretty damn big. It's a nice ass house. And pretty good for nostalgia as well. Ah, okay. Shit, this looks different. Has a darker tone to it. It's like it's like the epitome of evil. The very nesting ground of Sith. Jeez. Lighting here is a bit strange. It's not like Umbara. But the frame rate is better for some strange reason. <clears throat> Sorry if my voice sounds a bit weird. It's I've got a bit of a fucked up cold, so... Yeah, this is it. This is Umbara, and I think next up we've got to jet over to the Sith Academy, see what that's got to offer. Okay. 
This is the Sith Academy on Umbara, which, for some strange reason, reason, for some strange reason, looks almost identical to Dathomir's house, which I kind of feared would happen because Dathomir does look very much like a Sith or an evil nesting ground. So, it doesn't surprise me that they use the exact same layout for a Sith Academy. Um, I wonder if we can go out, because I know that there's more area on the outside of Dathomy. It's strange, you don't actually see any Sith Academies on Umbara. <coughs> no, I don't think you can leave, because the doors are all shut. Oh well. Next up... <laughs> In this video and auto plutonia interesting name. this is the final house <coughs> okay so we've got another icy planet looks kind of similar to Karlak And there's not much to see here, it's just an open area. But this is great to build your house and whatnot. Large areas are the best, you don't want to keep it constrained. So yeah, this is Auto Plutonia, the very last of the um, houses. There's an invisible wall there, you can't get into that little gap. It forces you towards the left. And yeah. I'm going to go ahead and try to access the, um, the Felucia one, but um, I doubt I'll be able to, but we'll give it a try anyway. Alright, so let's see if we can visit Felucia, and no, we cannot, we can only visit the starter one. So we've seen all the houses, we're back at um, Coruscant, and I'm going to try and open the menu without it freezing and destroying everything. Okay, so... Mounts. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of different mounts we can choose from. And, um... Grievous Speeder, probably my favorite. <laughs> Mandalorian. I'm really trying to take it easy, because I don't want it to freeze. Because if it does freeze, I'm just going to end the video. And you guys can see all this stuff for yourself. And you can, you know, install it. It's downloaded, install it. It's quite a small size, so... No, no problem there. But, uh. And it's frozen. Shit. Okay. Alright. Thank you guys for watching. I know it's been a very long video. Um, it's been quite a hassle for me constantly ending the video, exiting the game, and ending the video. So, there are speeders. You can customize your character's look. He's what he uses, his weapons. You can visit houses. You can choose companions, mounts, visit planets, talk to NPCs, find uh, credits, and your status always saves, it never resets, so that's all, that's great. This is a great update, it shows that CWA will return eventually at some point, and even if it doesn't, we still have something to look at and enjoy, and just make us nostalgic. So, if you guys do like this video, be sure to hit that like button, uh, be sure to subscribe, comment what you think below. Um, what do you think of this new Clone Wars Adventures emulator? Do you like it? Do you want to see online servers return? Would you join and play regularly? Do you just want to stick with the Old Republic or the Galaxies emulator? Would you like to see a new Star Wars MMO? A lot of really crazy questions that, you know, we can't really get answers for because, you know, EA hasn't done anything with, um, in terms of MMOs. They created Star Wars Uprising, then you know, cancelled it, I think, a year later or so, so... We don't really have much. We've got the Old Republic, and that's just sitting there, and... Community is unfortunately dying. If you do like the Old Republic, please play and support it, because it's fucking awesome. But, um... Yeah. So... That is all for this... This week's video, and I will see you guys next time. Adios.